like to tell you along with the Cajun Cannon, Bobby Bear. Bobby just had practice. It was sort of split first part of it out, outside, and then we went inside, got cooled off a little bit. But what showed up big for you in practice? Well, uh, I thought uh, they were targeted and they caught the ball and made plays. It was a tight end big. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was all across the board, all the tight ends. It wasn't just one particular tight end. It wasn't just like Jimmy Graham, Foster Morrow. Juan, uh, Lucas Crow, uh, Crow uh, I mean, Jesse I look James. At Jesse James. I, I wrote down uh, that was a nice play, boy. This is what you want to see. Uh, nice ball, the corner route. Uh, Jesse James ran from Hayner. That had meant plus 25, plus 30 yard gain. But uh, the tight ends were targeted and they caught a number of balls. Uh, I think that was a good sign. But they, they all contributed, like Foster Morrow. I look, Juwan Johnson on a crossing route, plus 30. And not just little bitty dump offs, but significant gains. When you're talking about uh, 20 yards or more, I know I don't know if it was exactly a handful, but it seemed like it was like at least uh, three, if not four, of, the, of those type plays. Uh, tight the quarterbacks utilizing the tight end. One of the guys real active on defense, and he's got an uphill battle to make the team. I think special teams gonna be big for him. Nephi Sewell, he shows up every day in practice. He makes a couple of big plays. Yeah, I've taken notes on him every day. Haven't taken notes on Foskey, and that's a different story. Uh, it's, it's been negative rather than uh, positive. But like Nephi Sewell, just his run fit. Um, he's made plays in uh, pass coverage. Uh, you could see like tackles for a loss. So I'm interested to see. I said this last night, Mike. Uh, that come when the Chiefs come to town, first preseason game, and he'll be very active. I could see him not even counting special teams, but uh, when the game's all said and done, he'll probably have, like, I wouldn't be surprised, eight to ten tackles. He's that active of a player. Another guy, rookie-wise, coming off the MCL injury. We saw him at TCU and at times carried that football team. Kendra Miller continues to impress. Man, once he hits the edge, he turns power into speed, and then he's off to the racetracks. Yeah, you see uh, chunk splash plays of um, like plus 25, plus 30, whether it be a simple swing route, uh, a screen play. Um, he had a, a one jump cut uh, yesterday, Mike, that uh, he hit it, and the hole was there. They could have you know, been taking him to the ground tackling. That would have been a plus 25, 30-yard gain. So it looks like his knee was never hurt. Uh, to make that type of run. So that's a good sign. And uh, the Saints uh, you know, have high expectations with him considering where you drafted him and uh, not knowing the status yet of Alvin Kamara, you know, with the suspension there. Um, but yeah, Mike, uh, he, he is impressed. The first day you remember he came out and he fumbled. And then but other than that, he's had yeah. a really positive practices since then. Just a little bit of maybe tweaking on how he runs a route. Right. Because, right. in fact, they didn't ask him to do a lot of that at TCU. He can catch the ball. Right. And I think that's important also to local product. Kirk Merrick continues to work at the running back position. We saw him last year almost exclusively at wide receiver in the return game. But, man, he cut the corner, and you saw a little bit of that flash. Yeah, yeah, that's what I feel. really like you said, Mike, uh, Kirk Merritt. Uh, you can see the speed, uh, getting outside, nice run. Uh, that's what he needs to do. A number of these players, um, you know, whether you're competing against another team when they're going to go to uh, Los Angeles against the Chargers or in actual preseason game when they can tackle. Like, you know, uh, Kirk Merritt, that's when you need to shine. You know, and any time on the field, whether it's special teams or on offense or if you're a defensive player, are you in the right spot? Are you making plays? Are you taking the football away? Or are you contributing on special teams? No, this is their their Super Bowl, really. If you're trying to have an NFL lifestyle and make a team, uh, this is very important what you do in August. And, you know, the players are established, like the Cam Jordans and all that. You're not worried about this. They're ready to get the season started. But these other guys, they're trying to make a living you know, at football, and it all starts in August. Bobby Bear, Mike to tell you, Steve Gallo, a lot more on sports talk in the Big 870 this afternoon. Who that?